Hi guys, my name is Ben and uh, good afternoon everyone on this. Today is what? Friday? Thursday. Okay, today is on the, on the Thursday and I hope you guys have your lunch and uh, welcome you guys to join our live tour today. So today we are at the Trivia. So it's one of um, my project, one of my latest project. In fact, this month and the next month we have a few uh, projects coming up so it's like a, I would say yeah crazy period because after CNY this uh, this group of projects are projects that uh, like kind of start renovation after CNY so it's like CNY is February month so three months so there's there are a lot like usually it's about me June then there will be a one way for projects that is uh, going to be completed so this will be the first one of them and next week we have um, two more at JSK and um, so and so forth so we really look forward to that okay so uh, I think without further ado let me just bring you guys around this house okay so right now where are uh, where we are at right is at their foyer area okay now the trivia has a very interesting um, foyer area whereby every um, if I'm not wrong uh, every unit come with a private landscape area Okay, before we go in, maybe I can, uh, if you don't mind, now like, can you show the outside here? So you see outside here, right? It's a, it's a landscape. The developer has done a landscape whereby the homeowners, they can view kind of like from over here. I mean, if you open it up, ta -da. But currently, it is kind of bare. It's not like very bushy bushy, so I was like even suggesting to the owner, hey, can we like throw some penny trees outside to make like it more more green. Uh. For me, that that's my style. I like a lot of green. Uh, of course, that's optional. So what we did here was we installed Venetian blind because we want the, to have um, the very luxury like wood element, as you can see in our carpentry work. Our whole rows of shoes cabinet over here. Uh, all using a wood laminate and because of the height and the limitation of laminate so we decide to have um, laminate joint line okay now this is something a tips that I can share okay for wood grains right you can uh, kind of like mix it to have it like um, horizontally and vertically for example maybe two-thirds of your carpentry work can be in a uh, uh, in, uh, vertical grain whereby one third horizontal grain so you can have like a like groove line as a segregation so it will look uh, it will look very nice as well although it's the same laminate but it's like two different style one horizontal one vertical so that is the direction that we are going like we are not going for like really fancy really a loud design but we just want a bit of contrast so yeah so you have plenty of storage plenty of shoe storage over here but of course when uh, you are designing your foyer you must make sure to at least keep us I would say like try to keep at least 900 walkway huh? and if if not right you need to that's where you determine the depth of your shoe cabinet how how deep you can go long but of course, if you still want like this much shoes cabinet and your passageway is not really that wide, then uh, you might need to make it shallower. Then your shoes just position it the other way around, horizontally. So this, this are the compromise that we might need to take. Just like the trivia, if I'm not wrong, I have uh, we have another unit. Same thing, the layout is almost the same, but the foyer is much smaller. Yeah, so these are some of the things to take note. Okay? Then, um, now, so apart from uh, the carpentry works, show Kevin over here, we also kind of like clap the ceiling. This is the existing floor ceiling, used to be white in color, so we have it, uh, we try to match the wood laminate as close as possible. So the wood laminate is a bit ash tone, whereby the, it's ash gray wood whereby the wallpaper I think is more towards the ash walnut so it I'm glad that it can like really goes well 
together when it's back. Yeah. And for my general wall, so uh, I decide to wallpaper it to give it some texture. But of course, if we don't want to go all the way out, we can go for like um, a neutral color wall paint as well. Okay, so yeah, let's come on in to see the rest of the area. Okay, ta -da. Okay, now as we come in here, right? Uh, okay, maybe you can stand over here. Uh, we show this area first, uh, we set the wall here. So, existing, right, the developer used to give them some um, storage. But to them, it, it, uh, to the existing owner, they think that it doesn't look that, that nice. Okay, so we decide to like kind of like tear it down and to build like a pantry area for them. So they can uh, have a built-in oven, they can uh, put in their wine fridge. Yeah, because they entertain and drink quite a fair bit. Okay, so yeah, they can have a dispenser here, a wine glass holder and yeah. Whatnot. So this is a very nice place uh, for to to do a pantry. Okay, so yeah. And for this area, we decided to um throw in a solid color laminate instead of wood. Initially, we we thought, hey, how about let's do wood instead. So I'm like, okay, let's let's not everything wet wood lah. Yeah, maybe let's throw in some solid color, so it will look nice as well. Okay. So I'll say that this house, right, the overall mood is, uh, it's more cozy, yeah, it's on the, it's not the bright kind of modern lux, or even it, it's a bit neutral but towards the darker side. As you can see, the, even for the marbles that we use, right, as a black uh, makina, okay, so that's the tabletop and the black splash, now, over here, now, the owner has a very nice, it's got a mess, yeah, scarf that they like to frame up. Okay, now, the metal element now for Modern Lux team, that is always metal element. Now this is um, something that the owner is, have a specific liking for rose gold. And this is post, uh, I would say post part of uh, kind of a challenge uh, because um, rose gold stuff is not that easy to find because there is a different range of rose gold is maybe too pinkish or too brownish. So we need to really, um, really tie up the different rose gold element well in the house. For example, the frame of the Amen scarf. Okay, and also later I'll share more on the suspended dining table, the frame of the suspended dining table, and also the details whereby the side capping of our carpentry work. All the metal works are all customized in rose gold finish. So if you are a fan of rose gold, like uh, you will love this plate because we don't really do much, most um, is either hairline, bronze or brass. Yeah, that, that is most, uh, that's most commonly used, but rose gold, not that much. So I really love how rose gold turn out. It's like, wow, it's really different. Okay, so this section here is my section between my shoe cabinet termination and my dining area. So this mid section here will be my feature wall where I feature this scarf. Is that? So as we come over here, right? In fact, um, my design intent for this house is stretch. It's like um, I felt that every space there must be a story to tell, and if if it is possible, right, there must be some linkage. Okay, different zoning, and uh, there's a different story to it. Like as we come from the front foyer, this will be my shoes cabinet. So after my shoes cabinet termination point and the existing four ceiling will be my Hermes car feature wall. So the next story that move from here will be my uh, dining area. 
whereby we invested in like a cushion um, backing, full height, because we want to have that sense of um, space. We want to elevate the ceiling. That's why we designed um, like a full height cushion backing. Okay, and also this very, very unique suspended dining table. So initially, we when we designed this, okay, our intention is we want to um, uh, create this very unique effect whereby that is a free space below because the owner, they have a newborn, about one year old baby. So they will have a, like a childcare, like a baby seat. So they want to have the baby seat, like be able to uh, push it. So in fact, this table is slightly higher than usual. Okay, so instead of a typical settee, right, I want the dining settee to kind of like integrate with my TV console. Okay, so if you can see from my design here, um, this gray portion, this is my TV console, and uh, now, dining settee have a, has a height of about 45 cm, uh, okay? So, but I do not want my TV console to be too bulky. If I make a 45 cm TV console, then uh, wow, very total, like very fat. I don't like it. So, I would rather my TV console be very low profile like that. And in fact, you see the top finishing, right? I, I will prefer it to have like a 45 degree joint. Yeah, so you open from the bottom and uh, yeah, so when you close it, soft closing, it looks seamless. I want it to look like very modular kind of design. Okay, so I decide I use a different laminate. For example, on the top portion, I leave a groove line here. It's in, it's, in fact, it's just a detail. It's not for your finger to open. Normally, such groove line is for finger, but my finger is all open from the bottom. Okay. So this is just for the detail and uh, use wood laminate from the top for the top part of the settee. So it look like um, you know it looked like a block of wood. Yeah, it looked like a block of wood for your sitting area. And I think it, it looked really lovely. Yeah. So it doesn't it doesn't look too boring and too intimidating like uh, like a very typical settee design. No? And there's some linkage. Like I said, from area to area. So there is some linkage from the dining area, dining feature wall, to the living TV feature wall. So every area have their own feature. And I would think that it should be well balanced. For example, from the Amen scarf with wallpaper texture to the fabric cushion backing and to the star of our show the tv feature wall okay now why i say the tv feature wall is the star of the whole show is like our zhongtou si right it's because of the marble tiles that we are using now if you realize that since i use black marble for my um, like dining table top and for my pantry top we have to be very careful how we play with our uh, how we mix our marble material like you don't use like white marble and black marble and come together you will clash so you have to pick the color very carefully you have to pick the green very carefully to make sure that things goes well together uh, which is why um, I go for this like kind of like a a bit emerald green marble with very strong uh, patterns and greens. And it's it's not strong in a way where by the, the veins everything is very distinct, very loud. But that is a very beautiful uh, patterns around it. And I like the random lines that um, kind of like blends well with my rose gold uh, finishing okay and not only that i specifically like um, request the owner to invest in like italian house slab large really large format it's like three meters 
kind of uh, format tiles. So we only have like one join line in the middle, which is not very obvious if you ask me. So it's just two slabs, two huge slabs for their TV feature wall. In fact, this tile is so big that uh, during transportation, it broke. Yeah, it broke once and uh, the supplier had to reorder one more to bring over. Yeah, so this is, I would say, one of the high-risk products here. Like, but it is so well worth it. Yeah, because, like I say, it is really the star of the show. Okay, so finally, at the most uh, right on the end of my TV feature wall will be my storage. Whereby my tall unit storage, whereby they have some feng shui requirement, whereby they need to put some piggy bank over here. And I'm like asking the owner, uh, I thought you had need to put some feng shui stuff. I thought it's some very like very paria kind of very weird kind of uh, piggy bank. But they said no, Ben. This fabric is a piggy bank. So so <laughs> this is uh, I am still following the feng shui master. So I'm still going to be what I'm like. Okay, fair enough. So this is nice. So as you can see over here, it's all storage. It's all uh, like whatever like you want to con connect your router and whatnot. So everything will come here lah. Okay. Now, uh, of course, the very small detail, you guys know me like, when I design something, I uh, like kind of like, for example, like this toy unit, I want to have a, a recess gap here, I don't want it to align, I want it to be recess in 20cm, because I think align wouldn't look nice, so I'm very particular about such thing, okay, and also, like my TV feature wall, right, um, we have a um, we have, we play with a lot of depths, different depths here. Okay, like TV feature wall, I need a certain depth because I have internal cable trunking, cable management going here and there. Whereby the cushion backing will need require a shallower depth. So the depth difference, if you can come here, so we need something uh, we need something to finish it, uh, to finish up the 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 corners. Uh, which is why, like I say, we customize this rose gold plate to cover up the sides here. Okay, to cover up the side of the TV feature wall. Now, this is my lovely rose gold plate. So we need another rose gold plate to cover up the side of the cushion. Oh my god, the rose gold plate is so chill. Oh my god. So I get buffing right to customize uh, this sofa for me whereby I want to have like a side table okay so I draw this I get this dimension and customize a side uh, console data storage here whereby you can use that storage and when you close up you can use it as a side table oh my god yeah, and uh, I also like create instead of a typical L sheet, I have it angled like this. So we have an angled so far. It's almost like an L sheet, but if you don't know, put your leg like that, no one here also can. Yeah, so this is optional. Okay, so this is just a side table optional. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, also can. Okay, now, so yeah, really in investing in a high cool fan. Yeah. So nice. Okay. Okay. We are done with the living area. 
Now let me bring you guys a uh, kitchen. This is an existing condo, la, so we never do much to the kitchen, we never do the bathroom as well. And the common room um, is basically furnishing. Now let me take you to the master bedroom. Come on, let's go. Uh, we want paper, general paper, also the general area. Okay. Okay. When the owner come to us, right? As you can see, you got a man's scarf. That means what? You have a lot of bags. So <laughs> you want to have bag displayed, <laughs> okay? So behind will be their bag display. Okay, condo as we know it these days is very like very small. Okay, so uh, we usually will try our best lah like, to fit in all your requirements, like uh, you want to have a back display, you want to have a vanity cabinet, usually ah, uh, or even king size bed, you usually must compromise one. Now, if you go for a king size, king size bed uh, then you have to compromise on more things. Now, if you go for a queen size, queen size bed like this, you can still have your back display, okay? But one whole closed section will be for the backs, okay? Now, this section, uh, will be for your clothes, okay? So you will compromise a bit of clothing. You can still have your dresser table, dresser vanity, but your dresser vanity will probably have to be like inside lah. Okay, like the customized side, you put all your units to stand out and do your makeup lah. Okay, so we have this section here as our dresser clothes back display okay now if you guys have back display plus if you want to have uh, you have some like um, things that uh, require power supply it's important that you let us know earlier because we need to cater for power point for it for example for that owner they need a wash winder so we need the space for the wash winder I mean the space and the electrical point for the wash winder itself and of course for the bags display, it's very important that you give us the height of your bags also because there's different uh, different sizing. Uh. Okay? Now, like I say, it's all about compromising, especially when it comes to tight space. So over here they compromise on the uh, on one side of the big side table. Okay, but it's not a total compromise. Why? Because as we open here, we can see that this niche here, right? In, in fact, it's a basic table whereby they can put their charging point, all that. Yeah, so if I close up, it looks seamless, it looks clean. But when I open up, you can access the rest of the storage here. Okay, with this section as the basic table. Okay, then, uh, yeah. Okay. So on a feature wall, um, we go for wallpaper which is good enough and then uh, on the side here we have a laminate panel uh, for the for some contrast so it doesn't look so boring with a suspended bedside table and as we have uh, existing like a beam curtain beam so at the side here we have like a mirror mirror feature that goes all the way down of course with this cover you can't really see yeah so bottom like if you are going for such a bedroom design, right? Then you don't really need to do a hip hop. Yeah, you can. We can just customize the divan. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, another special feature for maybe you can stand over here. A special feature for this um this unit is they uh they have a newborn about one years old, which will new use utilize the room in the next door. So they want to have some linkage between the master room and the common room. Okay. So we head down this wall and we create a feature wall. Now, one thing about um, like a linkage between two rooms, right? Is the kind of doors, the kind of entryway that you are going for. It can be like a normal sliding door, that is the cheapest option. Or it can be a casement door. 
or it can be the I would say that the prettiest option would be what we call the pocket door. Pocket door will look kind of like seamless because like you can conceal the track, everything will look like a feature wall. And um, but when you open up, the door kind of like pocket into the feature wall itself. Maybe yeah, you can come over here to show the pocket door detail. So that's what I mean by pocket door. Lah. So it pocket inside the screen nicely. So everything is concealed. The track on top is concealed also. Okay. So I close it again and open. So, which is the nursery rooms lah. So, we know we just have like a wall mural here. So, everything is um, very much uh, movable lah. Hmm. Okay. The existing model is by developer. Close this door. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, we have come to the end of our tour. Let's go back to the living area. Okay, maybe let's just um. Yeah, we have come to the end of our tour. Maybe we open up um for some Q and A for. Five minutes, okay. And what's what's the time now, though? Two ten. Two ten, ah. Okay, until two fifteen. Okay. Previously, is there any question? Maybe you answer those first. Then, uh, if not, you guys can uh, let us know. If you guys have any question regarding the house itself or any question at, at all, I will try my best to answer. So if there is no question coming, they ask you how to clean the blinds. Huh? How to clean the blinds? How to clean the blind, penetration blind? Uh, if I'm not wrong, there's some like uh, penetration blind cleaner. It's like shaped in a in like an abstract manner way where you can just brush it. Yeah. This is a tree bader. Um. Yeah. It's a tree bader unit. And the tree bader. Yeah. Tree bader. I think we have. You know, one more. Two. Jiskit, Shout out to Jiskit owner. Yeah. What's the temperature of the lights? 3K, 4K? 3K. Yeah. Most of it are 3K. Usually, the lights that we use are um, uh, like 3K or 4K. Yeah, about seldom we will use 5K. Mm, 5K will be like white color already. Are the switches smart and what brand are they? Uh, no, the switches are not smart. It's by Legrand. It's from Legrand, so... If I'm not wrong, this is... Ma Maria... Yeah, it's a Maria series. Yeah, because you go for it because you want like a grey to... Yeah, you, you want the dark silver, dark grey series. Hmm, to go with the house. Instead of white now. Yeah. What's the budget without finishing? Budget without furnishing as in Reno? Hmm, probably. I see, uh, wow, this one we need to refer back. Yeah, correct. So, what's the fabric you use for the sofa? Fabric? Uh? Aqua Clean? Yeah, I think it's by Aqua Clean from Burfing. Yeah, you can just um, uh, go to Burfing. Look for them and tell them in 1983 the Trivia Bands project, uh, what material that you need. They will give you the full spec, the design, even the laminate of the of the my sack paper as well. They will have all the information. Uh, can the lights be dimmed? Um, well, for this unit, we didn't go for a dimmer like driver. If you, of course, if you want like dimmer function or smart function, all you need to do is just to change the smart driver, which uh, you need to let your ID know like, when you are ordering the lights, or if you are ordering the lights yourself, just 
just that uh, if I'm not wrong, per leg is just another thirty dollars more. Yeah, uh, and uh, our legs is from for this unit is from my leg house, so they have they do have that options. If they don't like the colors of the built-in carpentry given by the developer, can mm. they laminate over again? Um, now, if you don't like the existing colors, right, what you can do is basically um, you can vinyl wrap just like their existing uh, this kitchen door hall and door frame. Initially, it's not this dark wood on it. Initially, it's like a very orangey kind of wood color. So what we do is we vinyl wrap it long. Yeah, including this one. Yeah. So if I'm not wrong, the original color that is like this. This one. Is this. So here, I think okay lah, it's the passageway. But here, it is super obvious because it is like very exposed to the rest of the area. So if really it bothers you, you don't need to do hair and change everything, you can just wrap it. Yeah, just like how we wrap car like that. The, the thing is the same. Then, of course, there's something that, some things you can wrap, some things you cannot wrap. For example, let me bring you over here. Like, you see, this one, green color. Yeah, for, like, seriously, bro. Upper knee, this green. Why? Why? So, this one, like, one whole chikang chikang like that, very hard to wrap. Not possible to wrap. Yeah, and you see all this frame here, green. Very hard, uh, bro. So, I also don't know why the developer gave green color. Tree. Green. Huh? Tree. What? Tree. 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 Oh, tree. Tree. Okay. If you want to say green color, it's because of tree. Tree. I give it to you. But you see, here you see, you see, you can't. This one? Orange color, bro. Orange. Buck, buck. Why? Buck. Buck. The tree buck is orange. Yeah, so why? I don't understand. Okay. So, I've been thinking for the longest time that I realized that. Huh? Next question. Next question. Wait, wait, I'm not confused. Yeah, I don't regret about it. Okay. I realized that a lot of owners that they come to us, right? They will tend to have regret. Ayah, why is my floor being so small? Why is that this weird corner? Blah, 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 blah. So, I have thought for the longest time should I really offer that service to a company owner to go and look for show flat before you guys even make that purchase? So, at least with. My eyes, right, when I go and see show flat, I will not be fascinated by just the design. I will look for the details. I will see where will be the beam, where will be the aircon placement. So, where will be the things that will affect our design? And why are you giving me green color? So, will green color be very hard to blend with our design going forward? So, I will be able to like bring all this up, up front to, to homeowners, you guys, before you even make that purchase. So, I've been thinking like, whether to do that service. Maybe you guys can drop me a DM, let me know whether, do you think this will be helpful for you? Or, no like you don't care, you buy condo is for the investment purposes, you don't care about all this aesthetic, then okay lah, then probably just leave with the, with the green color lah. Yeah. Can you install lock on the pocket door? Huh? Install lock on the pocket door. Pocket door, can. Yeah, then you will see a... Uh, you will see the kind of like the handle mechanism lah. because uh, it depends ah. like i say usually when we design pocket door is you want to make it look like a feature wall want to make it less look like a door yeah we want it to look concealed and flush so if you want to install a lock you need to invest a really nice looking lock yeah if not you see the keyhole there then not very aesthetically pleasing lah. Are all the walls painted or wallpapered? Any good suggestions for wallpaper? Um, all the walls are wallpapered yeah, for this unit. Now, if you go for modern last house, wallpaper is almost like uh, for general or it's almost like a necessity. La. Once you do it already, uh, then boom, modern last, the country is here. Yeah. But of course, 
uh, if you decide to do without, it's okay as well. It's not that oh, uh, then my house will be true. I already know it doesn't work that way. Like it's to how or what degree you want it to be perfect. Huh? Then uh, wallpaper recommendation usually for general wall, I'll just suggest a bit of texture. That that's all lah. Uh. Don't go for too loud one. Okay. So uh, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to drop us a DM. We'll answer them later on because I don't want to drag too long. If not, my people always say my video very long. They need to fast forward, fast forward. Lah. So I will stop here. Thank you guys so much for watching. So I see you guys next week. Jet skate owner, we're coming to you. We're showcasing your house soon. Thank you guys. Goodbye.